Stephen Twitch Boss danced his way into the hearts of so many, and those hearts are forever broken with his tragic passing. Welcome to Entertainment Tonight. It still doesn't seem real. No, it, it just does not seem no. real. Twitch's death resulting in an outpouring of love and reigniting conversations about mental health. This, as family and friends try to make sense of life without him. It's such a painful reminder that you never, ever know what people are going through. Yeah, listen, I think people have to just stop assuming that when you see people on television that they're okay, especially with the dancing. I mean, dancing is such a symbol of freedom and happiness mm -hmm. and joy. I, like the rest of the world, am shocked by the death of Stephen Boss, Twitch. He was obviously suffering with mental health issues, and it's a big, big, big problem in the United States. E.T. has learned Twitch's autopsy occurred yesterday. The medical examiner's office has confirmed that the 40-year-old died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. His body was discovered here at this Encino motel less than a mile from where Twitch lived with his wife Allison and their three children. That's where his family has come together to grieve. Both Twitch's mom and Allison's were spotted yesterday outside the home. Twitch's former co-star Channing Tatum shared his heartbreak, posting this pic from the set of Magic Mike XXL and writing, I have no words, there aren't any. My head or heart cannot understand this. Channing told me he was in awe of Twitch's moves. Unreal when he dances. Like, I, I, my mouth is just on the floor, like, the whole time. It's he's, gonna, he's gonna blow people's mind in this movie. He's like Neo inside the Matrix, inside the song. It's, it's pretty extraordinary. This morning, Ellen posted a tribute clip from the second to last day of her show. Something that I'll always remember is that you gave me a place where I can just be myself, you know what I mean? And speaking of Ellen, Rosie O'Donnell was candid, shutting down false conspiracy theories that point fingers at Ellen and even the Illuminati. This is There's no, like, Hollywood cabal that's out killing people, and why the hell would they? What could he possibly have seen or known at the Ellen Show. What, that she was not nice to her staff? Everyone knows that. Also getting real, Tyler Perry, who opened up about his own past suicide attempts. I'm a living witness, you can make it through it. And I'm so glad that my attempts didn't work. Rest in peace, Twitch. 